Hi friends, this is Amit Kumar and I welcome to my channel Prince Tech Challenge. So, uh, welcome to another session. Uh, today we will show you uh, how to create a scatter plot chart. So, before that, let me have a quick recap on this uh, last uh, video which we made. Uh, this is based on this, uh, uh, you know, bar chart and combo chart. Okay. So, uh, in order to create a new uh, sheet here, you can just enable this one, uh, this uh, drop down, and go to new sheet. And you can enable the name of the sheet, say, I'll just make it a scatter plot analysis. Anything uh, you can name it. Now select this. So I'm here on the uh, blank sheet. I don't have anything here basically. So this particular chart is a scatter plot object. It be uh, before I go and create this, uh, let me tell you this particular chart is used for a very huge data analysis, bulk amount of data analysis. Say I have thousand of orders. And then I want to show these these orders in a single uh, screen, single uh, panel, and you know I can then zoom out, then zoom in. Uh, I can then uh, you know, so uh, it would be easier for me to analyze huge number of item in a single object. So let's see, this uh, scatter plot object needs uh, one dimension and three measures basically. First, me, uh, first major would be shown in the x axis, second major will be shown in the y axis, and the third major, which would not be shown anywhere, but it would be uh, used to make the uh, scatters, the size of the scatters differentiated to each other. So, scatters in the sense uh, here it would be in circles, basically, you will have a beautiful small and bigger circle based on the third major value. Okay. So let's try and creating this object. I'm going to add this. Double click here. So I have list of data here in this, uh, you know, database uh, viewer, and I can go and add a dimension. I don't have to uh, drag it here because this thing will be uh, directly can be fetched here. So I will take basically any field which would have a very huge number in the database table say for example I have delivery order number so I just choose this one so in my database I have half thousand number of orders in the table so accordingly I will add next two measures the third measure option is not here it would be there in the dime, you know this uh, right hand side panel so first measure I will add say quantity and once you're selecting this it is showing me the type of aggregation I will choose here so the most common of the first aggregation I'll choose here is sum of quantity then measure add measure you can add here basically the other uh, quantity like say anything uh net efficiency amount okay all right and then again we have to choose the type of uh aggregation you would take these are the most uh, popular aggregation i am choosing this as some okay my chart is created uh, very easily and then uh, you can see there are a lot of measures here or else i can just swap it i will make the uh, this net efficiency amount to the second one uh, and here I will choose the data machine symbol so if you want to change the uh, value in the measure you can select this particular table and in the field which is here is probably okay maybe this one okay. just choose this and then sum so here the second value 
you can choose it as quantity i'm going to choose this as quantity so instead of writing here you can better choose the table name and insert the field this is the quantity here and then insert you need to insert it so that it will automatically be written in the code snippet so i just could get all these uh, measures here i mean this is x axis and this is y axis x axis x axis showing the quantity and y axis showing the net uh, efficiency amount or the net arrow whichever the measure is okay so i can just label it if it's just label it here then this some order uh, this uh, this table name which is showing very technical it would be renamed as the user defined field it doesn't mean that it should be always same as the field name so you can give it any name and this is order number i can keep the label as order number the second measure which is this i can give it as I will remove this one and choose this. There is another field called net arrow. I will choose this one. Okay. So based on this, it looks nice. Uh, Here is the quantity and here is the net arrow. Okay, which is my price. Then here there is another option. The two measures I have added: quantity, price. You can you can swap the you know measures and uh, like this. You can simply drag it here. You can keep the quantity before uh, 2x axis or you know price to y axis. So you can basically swap the measures here. If I'm swapping here, just dragging it up. So now prices become the x-axis and quantities become the y-axis, and vice versa. Okay, so I can just do like this. It's very easy and very user friendly. And then you have to add the third measure, which would be defined uh, the size uh, of the uh, this orders. So the decision can be made then which order has the highest value and highest profitable uh, indicators so that I can add here. So I can simply choose net amount which is my uh, revenue or yeah this is a kind of my revenue and then choose the sum. So here it's it's very easily could sense me that out of these thousand orders this order looks bigger and based on the order value based on the price and revenue this is also bigger so it's a very nice and interactive chart then uh, then some more features i can add it here as i can just keep this name as okay so this is my revenue based on the revenue the size of the circles is becoming bigger and uh, this is the price and this is the quantity the more you have the quantity so this is I the item which is not bigger in price but the quantity is very huge in term of all the orders and here this is one of the order which uh, price is also very huge and in term of this price and uh, quantity its revenue is very huge okay. <coughs> There are some more features I can add here to give it a final touch to this chart. Let's go to appearance. So color, color of these circles you can make it like you know a single color, multi color. If you want to define the color by dimension, then all the circles will be distinctly colored like this. So this is distinctly colored, and if you want to make it by measures, say the measure is uh, net amount the price then what it makes is that the bigger the measure is the darker the color is okay and 
you should choose like this the bigger the uh, bezel the darker the color likewise here in this uh, gradient uh, effect uh, the the lighter the i mean the smaller the order value is becoming uh, blue and higher the order value is becoming red however i will uh, you can also reverse it you can make it more darker more bigger value as uh, uh, blue and smaller value as red by choosing this reverse uh, color effect okay then go on I, I will just simply make it uh, distinct by dimension so it will be more beautiful and choose the persist persistent color here so the color effect will also be in a single order okay now what else I can do here I uh, yeah I have this option called uh, labels there's a legion title which is showing here these are the color so legion title you can show either you can show or you cannot so it's up to you <coughs> If you want to show this legend to the right, to automatic, to bottom, to left, you can also choose it. Say if you want to show it in the left, you can. Something like this, it will be shown. If you want to show it in the bottom, then it will be shown in the bottom like this. So based on the availability of the space in your dashboard, you can take this decision. I will change the label numbers. Now go to presentation. Here the bubble size you can increase or decrease based on this navigation based on this uh, selector. So I'll just make it fully increase. So this looks nice. Okay. Then grid line uh, spacing. So grid line spacing is now uh, you know defined as auto. So these are the grid. Okay. Uh, it is um, swing to be medium here. If you want to make it narrow, then a lot of grids will come up. Here, this looks nice. Okay, color legend is also given defined. So yeah, up to this we can uh, give uh, you know we can add some uh, uh, you know our interventions to make give it a final touch. And here, I can give the KPA neighbors order. analysis by order so this is what it is and this is what we can done to create a uh, your scatter plot chart now one thing here uh, you can defend this title or if you don't want to show this title also on the dashboard you will simply want to see then we can show the title so this is what we can apply for this to give a final touch to this scatter plot chart so now this labels which is showing by order number is showing on a specific number of orders however it is not showing on all because the data is so huge and the space is not, not going to be accommodated so that's why it is swing to the bubbles wherever it find a appropriate space okay so thank you so much it's all uh, you know uh, about the bubble chart or we can say a scatter plot analysis so if you like my video if you please uh, like and subscribe we'll meeting you soon for the next video thank you so much bye bye